Configure CDP, LLDP, and NTP. Addressing table, incomplete table. Uh, IP addresses for BRSW1, BRSW2, and BRSW3. IP addresses are missing. Uh, you need to complete these IP addresses. Documentation is incomplete for the networks. Use the table below to log on to the branch switches when you need to do so. BRSW1, username, user password, enable secret. Uh, also for BRSW2 and BRSW3, these three switches. Configure LLDP as follows. Disable CDP on HQ router. Okay, click here on HQ router. Enter, enable, configure terminal. Now CDP run. Enable LLDP globally on HQ on global configuration mode. LLDP run. On HQ, configure the links to the switches to only receive LLDP messages. Okay, uh, link to the switches. These links connected to the switches. Show IP interface brief. Sorry, and show IP interface brief. Okay. On the connection to branch is serial interface, this serial interface. But connection to the switches are uh, gigabit interfaces. Okay, um, configure terminal interface gigabit zero zero zero. Only receive. Enable LLDP receive and disable transmit. No LLDP transmit. Okay, to only receive. And gigabit 001 receive, no transmit. Okay, very good. Disable CDP on. HQ SW1 and HQ SW2 switches. Okay, disable on both switches. HQ SW1, disable CDP, enable configure terminal, no CDP run. HQ SW2, enter, enable configure terminal, no CDP run. Enable LLDP on HQSW1 and HQSW2 switches. HQSW1, LLDP1, HQSW2, LLDP1. On HQSW1 and HQSW2 switches, configure the links to the HQ router to only send nor receive LLDP messages. Okay, the links to the HQ router, the link that connects HQ SW1 to HQ router, this link, okay, this connection, go to HQ SW1 and show IP interface brief, space, 24 and gigabit 01 up. All other, port, all other ports down, uh, 24 and gigabit 01. Show running config. Uh, no more information. So verify here, 24 
to the server uh, gigabit 01 to HQ router. So configure on gigabit 01, the link connected, the interface connected to HQ. Configure terminal interface gigabit 01. Only send, no receive. LLDP messages. Okay. Um, LLDP transmit to only send and disable receive no LLDP receive. The same process on HQSW2 port gigabit 01. Interface gigabit 01 LLDP transmit to, to, to send and disable receive. No LLDP receive. Okay, not receive, only send. Now disable LLDP completely on the HQ SW1 and HQ SW2 access ports that are in use. Okay, the access ports in 24 port on HQ SW1 interface for September 24. No transmit, no receive. Okay, completely on access ports. The another access port is facet not zero one on HQ SW2. Facet not zero one, no transmit, no receive. Okay. Disable LLDP completely on access ports. Configure CDP. Activate CDP on branch router. Go to branch. Enter. Enable. Configure terminal on global configuration mode CDP run. Okay. Activate CDP. On branch router, connect to switch BRSW1 over SSH. Okay, connect to this switch using SSH BRSW1. Try to click here and you are not permitted to access, so use SSH. But to use SSH, you need to, to know the IP address of this switch. So and you can do show CDP networks. And the network is a switch, S for switch. And the hostname BRSW1, BRSW1. Okay, but to know the IP address, use show CDP networks detail. And now you can see BRSW1 182.168.4.250. So you can complete here the table 182.168.4.250 and use this IP address to access SSH and use this uh, username, user password, and enable secret password. So access that switch. SSH option L, user admin 182.168. For that 250 enter and use the user uh, user password sw1 admin and this character enter enable sw1 e n a a c c e s s this character enter now you are on br sw1 privilege execute mode Connect to switches BRSW2 and BRSW3 over SSH. 
Okay. Now you are on BRSW1. Discover the night words. Show CDP night words. Okay, uh, branch uh, two interfaces on branch router using sub interfaces. Okay, branch router. Okay, uh, two switches BRSW2 and BRSW3. Switches. Detail to view the IP addresses. BRSW, uh, sorry, BRSW2 192.168.4.253. So you can complete the table BRSW2 192.168.4.253. And BRSW3 192.168.4.254. Okay, 192.168.4.254 to complete the table. Now, table should be completed. But uh, connect to switches, BRSW2 and BRSW3 over SSH. Okay, first of all, BRSW2 4.253. SSH option L admin, use this admin and the IP address. 192.168.4.253. Remember this IP, 253. And use the password as W2 admin and this character. Enable as W2 E N A A C C E S S this character. Success. Now you are on BRSW2. Configure the access ports that are in use to not send CDP messages out the ports. Disable CDP on access ports. BRSW2, show IP interface brief. Okay. Fast Ethernet 1 up. 24 up, gigabit 02 up, VLAN up. Okay, show running config. Okay, Fast Ethernet 1 is configured with mode access, so this is the access port, Fast Ethernet 1. Okay, the interface connected to PC2, Fast Ethernet 1. But also, 24 is trunk, so it's not access port, and gigabit 02 trunk is not access port. Configure terminal. And not send CDP messages. Okay. First of all, access the port interface for certain network. Then no CDP enabled. Okay. Now, access uh, BRSW3 over SSH and SSH option L admin 192.168.4.254. Remember, this is the IP address for BRSW3. Enter. Use these passwords SW3 admin in this character. Enable SW3ENAACCESS character and the same process access port not send CDP messages show IP interface brief fast Ethernet 1 up 24 up gigabit 01 up VLAN up, verify, show running config. Fast Ethernet 1, no configuration. 24 trunk, not access. Gigabit 01 trunk, not access. So 
but set another one should be the access port this connected to PC okay configure terminal interface for set another one no CDP in name ready Configure HQ to use device 182.168.1.254 as NTP server. Okay. The NTP server is 182.168.1.254. HQ. Enter. Enable configure terminal NTP server. 192.168.1.254 Okay, 100%. Thank you very much.